All right, everybody. Everybody loves a uh, loves a rags to riches story. Yes. I also like riches mm. to rags stories, so I can laugh at them. <laughs> really? What's your favorite one? Uh, the famous Vanderbilts of the U.S. They squandered their family fortune and within two or three generations. Three generations? Wow. How much was it? It's imagine if Bill Gates' kids, grandkids fucked up the whole entire fortune. Wow. Well, Bill Gates and like Jackie Chan and them, like uh, there was a, I think some girl was like, hey, like uh, they're at a restaurant and then the, the daughter and Bill Gates uh, split the check, right? She tipped uh, like $100 and he tipped five. And uh, the waitress was like, hey, like why'd you like ask Bill, I don't know if it's true, but it was like, why'd you only tip me uh, five, five bucks. bucks when you're the world's richest man, and he goes because I'm the world's richest man. <laughs> like, I became that way for a reason. If if she's spending my money, so she's just spending like that. And if I continue, and like I forgot how the whole story went, but it's like if I give her my money, she's not gonna learn how to make it or keep it because mm -hmm. she didn't get it. But if I teach her the steps to become that way, she will then be like. Wait, where does Jackie Chan come in? Jackie Chan is the same way where he's like, when he dies, he's not gonna give any of his kids money. Warren Buffett too? Yeah, he's gonna give all of it to charity and he's like. Um, Survive on your own. Yeah, he's like, wow. if if my kid's smart enough, he'll make his own money. If he's not, he'll just waste all mine. Oh, that's Damn, cool. that's a powerful uh, message. If but I was, But that's that. also easy to say because, well, imagine being a kid that grew up with Jackie Chan luxuries. Jackie Chan Mansion, Jackie Chan, all that shit, right? And all of a sudden, it's like, go find your own money. That's what happened to my parents. For real? Yeah, they grew up fucking rich! Oh. And nobody taught them how to- Well, that's the parents', that's the parents fault. Because if like, I, because my, my goal is to become uh, successful and rich one day, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't want my kids to just bank off of me. I so want, you also want to teach them as they're enjoying the nice things. Yeah. yeah, they're too busy working to teach them. <laughs> That's true. It's it's like a balance. You have to because then otherwise it's like they're just gonna waste. So they're gonna do, it. and they're also gonna be like these spoiled rich kids that we see all the time. Yeah. that they're just using their parents' wealth. You know. That's true, and that was my dad. Yeah. All right, so our story here is a rags to riches story. Mm -hmm. I like and that. And that it starts four years ago when this little girl named Rita. Gaviola from a Filipino town Gaviola. called Filipino. Lakban. Lakban. I hope I said that right. Lakban, yeah. I don't know. Uh, she was 13 years old at the time. And uh, she would go on to become a pretty big fashion model in the Philippines. What? Oh. A she Filipino was... fashion model. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, she was discovered in 2016 uh, at a. Uh, what is it, uh, a, a, a pahiha? A break dancing competition? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's call it that. Yeah, the Pahihas Festival in Lakban, the dancing competition. In May 2016, a random Filipino photographer by the name of Topher Quinto Burgos. Dude, Filipinos have the tightest name. They right? honestly do. Topher Quinto Burgos, huh? Pita Ravioli Mukbang? <laughs> <laughs> Pita Ravioli. Yeah, what was the town, like Mukbang? Lukban. Lukban. But yeah, he, he discovers her and he was like uh, so attracted to her natural beauty and posted photos of her as a homeless girl. She was- uh, But she's like a model. No, no, I'm not. She's not homeless. I'm not, I'm not reporting it wrong. No, she was just a poor girl. She was a beggar girl on the streets. Oh. And she had like the looks of a model, but she was literally begging for money oh. on the street. Oh. Yeah. And he took photos of her, uploaded those the, the photos, and it changed her life. It's so like you are, it's one of those girls where it's like, you are too hot to be begging for money. What is go, what is wrong here? But I thought it was gonna be like one of those rags to riches where someone did something. They worked for it. They were just hot. Yeah. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's kind of like winning the lotto, isn't it? I heard four years, I'm like, damn, they hustled their fucking ass off. They were like, uh, hey, how'd you get such a nice figure? She's like, I was hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. You, how do you stay so thin? It's like, I had no food. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> wow, you're so tall and slender. You know girls would kill for that body. <laughs> All right, this is Rita. This Rita? is, this is. I guess this is the original she, fo oh. photo. The original photo uh, of she, her. She looks like she's in an elementary school. She does. But she looks she's like 30. every girl. No, 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 oh, like yeah, the setting. It looks like she's in a playground. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was the festival. It was like, it, it, oh. it was like a lively mm. scenario, I, I assume. And she was begging for money there. Yeah, and like, I guess this photographer was like, I can see through the, the dirt on your face. I can see <laughs> past all that. I can see past the poverty. Yeah. I see something there. The potential. Yeah. Well, like the high fashion me. look is also a little bit different. You know, yeah. like some high fashion looks, it's not like, your traditional, oh, like that girl's hot at the bar. Yeah. yeah, it's like a, 
I don't know, certain cheekbones. They like gap teeth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The look now, you also kind of look kind of homeless. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, yeah. the really like hype stuff. I like yeah, unique really looking homeless. girls. But high fashion though, a lot of the women look like alien. I like that. True. <laughs> right? I kind of like that. Yeah, they look like, hold on. Are you even human though? Like like slightly <laughs> bigger foreheads than normal. Like yeah. I, I find that I find that attractive. Elongated skulls. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Exactly. Keep going. Damn, case going. what? Like big eyes that are like slightly too far apart, or like the buck teeth with the um, gap in them. Like, it sounds like you're explaining the alien from American Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the gray skin though. Do you have pictures of her now and her? Yes, she has about 120,000 followers on Instagram. Damn. This is what she looks like now. Can you ah. tilt the screen for a little bit? Oh yeah. And make it brighter. Yeah, but Damn, she, she looks still, way she different. She still looks like I don't know. She doesn't look like holy garbanzo beans, you know? Yeah. Bro. Well, she has good features. She does have good features. Like, she wears clothes well, and I think as a fashion model, I can tell because it's not TNA. You know, like TNA is completely different. What's Meaning, TNA? TNA is like tits and ass. You gotta have the curves, uh, yeah. And the face doesn't really matter as really much. Model, that's not fashion model. modeling, yeah. yeah. But yeah, she ends up being a uh, Calvin. I guess she's working for Calvin Klein here. Yeah. And uh, do you think she's big off her story, or now just because she also looks like that, she's getting both. more exposure? Maybe both. both. Yeah, yeah, both. Yeah. Do you think she misses trash? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, when you're older, right? You're like. Obviously, like, <laughs> fucking instant noodles isn't that good, but then I'm like, ah, oh, you know, back in those days, those instant noodles when I was five, there's this nostalgia. You oh, think she walks by a okay. trash can and she's like, oh, you see that half-eaten burger? I miss those days when I ate those half-eaten burgers. <laughs> she's the oh, one on the look. bottom left? Yeah, this one right here. The other one's a guy. guy. <laughs> I don't know if My eyes are terrible. Really? <laughs> she looks so different well, there. Why does she look like half-white there? I think I think that's the look that they went for. Like she has very angular features. Kind of. so depends on which way she looks. She looks a little yeah. hot, different. Yeah. yeah, but like, but in the in the original photo when she was on the street, like, like she didn't she didn't look as like full. like Hapa or whatever. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. A little more like like I guess like full Filipino or whatever. I don't know. But then like I don't know. I, I thought it was like full, like she looks like she actually eats now. Yeah. Well, I feel like fuller, yeah. especially in. Um, in Asian countries, I would say, because like back then they use like skin, uh, like what, they make their skin lighter and like all that stuff. Uh, but especially for a company like Calvin Klein, they're trying to make them look more modernized or white or yeah. whatever, and trying to, because then I feel like the other people would want to become like that. Or they're trying to put out an image like white people. Do you know what I mean? True. Yeah, that's for sure. Even you look at like marketing in Asia, you can see a lot of like trying to westernize the look. Because that's what people want. That's but what even people are before to. white people, they liked light skin. Yeah, because yeah. like you didn't mm. work outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. that, I mean they but wanted it so white that they want they made their skin with fucking powder and shit. Yeah. Well, even now, like they have like I watch like these uh, things on like uh, Korea, and they have like all these like face masks that like make your skin lighter. And everything. Yeah, but, like but I think it's it's just more than just trying to look like white or like. They're not like they're not trying to look like yeah. Europeans. They're yeah, just yeah. they just want light light skin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because that's what they consider like historically like beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're a princess, cause you didn't work outside like a peasant. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You know what's strange to me? So like in Asia, like when they seek talent out, I feel like they generally do look for uh, models and actors and actresses that have like bigger eyes, more mm -hmm. like yeah. higher no bridges for the noses, higher cheekbones and like more angular faces. Uh, but it, what, what stands out to me is the eyes because in a lot of the models and like actors that I see uh, talents uh, being scouted out here in the states, they generally have like smaller eyes and like mm. like, ta like I don't know. You, have you noticed that? Like, the, in Asians? You mean, no, no, no a, a, like American, Asian Americans. Because they want they want to like, maybe to them that's what's more a stereotypical Asian oh. yeah. is smaller yeah. eyes. I also feel like they because for here they can stand out a little bit above the rest, right? What, rather than blending in with every single other model. But there's also another part where like I guess counter to what you're saying, Case is yeah. uh, I've also noticed that, you know, like, especially the people that are mixed that are like halfway, mm -hmm. to a lot of Asians, um, I can clearly tell you're half white. But then they'll cast them as the token Asian person, because yeah. no matter how half white they are, they still look ding 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 to <laughs> white people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even for like crazy rich That's Asians, true. like yeah, the standard Daniel Henry or yeah. uh, Henry Golding, like oh, to Henry me, he's Golding, clearly yeah. mixed, right? He's yeah. clearly mixed, but then I guess to, the rest of Hollywood or to America, they just see like a, a rice hat boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you think about that in like all the other ethnicities, right? 
no matter how like mixed they are and if they're like a little bit black, you're like, yeah, that guy's just straight up black, right? Even I mean, Obama's half white, but yeah. he's considered a black president. Yeah. But so then, yeah, but people don't even, don't even look at him. They're like, oh, that's the mixed president. They're like, no, that's the black president. Nothing else to him. Yeah, period. that's true. I mean, we define race in such a weird way here in the states too. True. Yeah. True. Asia, I think, just they have a different beauty standard, though. That's why they choose their actors and actresses to look a certain way. True. For example, like. Asian male actors in Western countries, like they have more, um, I would say, like masculine features in the Western sense. Yeah, like, like, time. like bigger, Face. muscular, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. like more like just toned all over, right? And yeah, and in, in Asia, it's 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 that's considered like, oh, you're an old guy, because it's like it's too. Uh, what's the word? Like they like boyish features, even if you're like early thirties. K-pop stars. Uh, yeah, yeah, like stars. that's. Oh. Because yeah. the idea of beauty is younger. Because mm. out here, uh, uh, they would say like, oh, um, I would say like women are more sexualized in a way that it's it's like, oh, athletic and also, you know, curvy and whatever, right? But then in Asia, it's not the same, but they're starting to change because of the whole K-pop and globalization. Even and all here, that I feel like they're starting yeah. to change because if you look at older movies, even 2000s, 90s, the, the male, person in that role is always like 50, maybe even 60, and then the female is like 18. Yo, dude. They're always like getting into That's a relationship. True, yeah. You ever watch like old James Bond movies with like Sean Connery or like Roger Moore? He's like a 40 year old man. He looks with fucking a... old, dude. Yeah. And like, oh, even like the current James Bond, like uh, yeah, Daniel yeah. Craig, when he got casted as James Bond in like 2006 or 2005 or whatever, he did not look like the young guy on Instagram modeling. He looked yeah. like an older dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, and But yeah. that was the standard. It's more extreme yeah. as you go further back. You look at like black and white movies with Gene Kelly or whatever. Yeah. Like at, at that point, they're like 60 bordering 70. And then, all, you know, the girls that is the female part is still like 18, 19 years old. It's, it's yeah. Wow, Western, they're like Hugh Hef, like Q Hef. Yeah, I feel like Western culture and Eastern culture right now, it's they're kind of like, it started on polarizing ends and they're kind of meeting a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're getting closer and closer to this medium. Yay. <laughs> I mean, Jack, I mean, Jack Sparrow, right? What's his name? Well, yeah, fucking Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. I mean, he was like the boy, dream boy, but like, yeah. I don't know, like kind of K-pop looking. True. That's America's oh, yeah, idea that of K-pop, you know? Yeah. yeah. But then he hit his peak in the early 2000s when he was a little older too, I feel like. But playing Jack Sparrow, like several yeah. peaks. I don't know. I uh, sure he, he's like so he's the peaks. kind of guy that peaks and then destroys his career and comes back and peaks. He purposely <laughs> became Edward Scissorhands because he was too like uh, Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, the, 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 the girls were finding him too sexy, and he's like, yeah. oh, I need to pick an uglier role. But people still loved him. He's still so cute. Yeah. With his I would mirrors. never do that. <laughs> what? Pick an uglier role if the girls find it too sexy. He wants to be taken serious, man. Yeah. Then do a serious role. Just don't make yourself ugly. He was hella cute, though. He was cute enough. It's like, no matter what he does, he's like, I'll be this drunk fucking pirate. And they still love him. It's like, why are you still <laughs> cute, dog? Why are you such a, a, a cute alcoholic? Oh. Yeah. Flamboyant pirate, too. Still sexy to girls. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>